Let's see. Allison. Oh, let's start here. Allison brewing some moon tea, holding her stomach. That conversation with Laris is huge because he knows what's going on. And he talks about like, uh, I have the line here. Um, you know, it's a sin to deny our appetites. I think it's interesting that we see her taking the moon tea after Rhaenyra supposedly needing moon tea mm -hmm. with the same person, by the way, Kristen Cole <laughs> uh, is, is we see the uh, more hypocritical nature of uh, of Allison here. And it just made me think about young Rhaenyra being, you yeah. know, given the tea and, you know, take it if you want. And that ended up being such a big deal. And now we have Allison doing the same thing because of the same guy, though. Allison thinks that it's because of Damon with Rhaenyra, which actually wasn't the case. So I felt like she, let's see, I have it here. I said, Allison's sort of questioning if people believe her, right? She asked the maester, like, did Viserys ever speak any of this to you? What do you think? And then she talks a little bit more about Aegon with Aegon about it, talking about like putting him on the throne. I feel like she is sort of seeking people to accept her truth now that she knows he didn't mean Aegon. Right. He he met like Egg on the Conqueror. And then she was at, seeking for his books. Right. She was looking for his books. So I'm wondering if she's going to go perhaps study and try to find out more about the Song of Ice and Fire and give and, you know, give that to Aegon or if she was just looking for them to give to Aegon or, you know, to so he can get wiser. Right. Because he talks about like you need our counsel because she's going and looking for them. So. Yeah. She's clearly looking for them for a reason. We just don't know, you know, why it is that she was she was doing that. So and then really, um, that's kind of all I really have on Alicent, Uh, This this episode, I said, I think she's going to study the Song of Ice and Fire. And then, you know, there's just so much more of other characters. So she's a little bit smaller in this episode. Yeah, but had a really big impact on Aegon in the conversation there and basically just telling him, hey, you're you're you've been put on this throne. We made a lot of sacrifices. Allison obviously feeling this sacrifice more now that she knows that she was incorrect about him, uh, but also just kind of tell him, hey, you're a placeholder. What we need you to do is literally nothing. And what does Aegon do? Which also, Allison, you should know your own son at this point. Come on. Come on. You knew he was going to run out there and do something stupid. And uh, and now here we are. So Allison's going to be interesting to watch going forward. Um, I, I have to brush up on everything that happens with her in Fire and Blood. But she's way more featured in the show, I would say, than she necessarily is in Fire. She's, she's there in Fire and Blood and a very important character. And there's a lot about her. But as this thing goes on, like, what is her role going to be going forward? Is it just going to be her? you know, kind of a moral dilemma with Kristen Cole. How is her brother going to play into this is another good question. Uh, so I, I'm, I'm very curious to see what the show specifically does with her.